Hi guys, welcome to this new lecture where you are going to learn about the Luma mat and the Luma inverted mat and create this simple animation here. Actually, there is a lot of learning that you are going to do here and you will learn also how to animate the linear gradient and that will be quite amazing. Let's uh, recreate this animation together. First of all, I will remove the Luma, stop the animation here and delete the shape layer. Okay, so what do I have? I have a text that is completely white. You notice I made it 100% white. Cool. And also I have the background picture that I will lock so we don't select it by mistake. I need to create my track mat. So I will take the rectangle, make sure I have a white color, 100% white for our example, and create the rectangle just above it. That will be the track mat. Let's rename it. We call it uh, Luma Mat. And let's go to the mountain climbing text and put it to Luma Mat. Now you notice like nothing has happened here. It's still operating exactly like a alpha mat. Nothing is original. And also it shows only when it is inside the track mat. That's very fine. I will undo this to keep it in the middle. But now the Luma is the amount of light that is passing through the track mat layer meaning it's the amount of light passing through the luma mat layer the layer you put on top the amount of light is determined by the brightness of the track mat layer the brightness is defined as white 100 percent bright and all the light will pass through black and the brightness is nil and no amount of light will pass through now, when it is in between white and black, any color, red, green, blue, whatever combination you want, then there is always a certain amount of light that will pass through. Let me show you an example. Let's take the fill here and start playing with the color. So if I go to black, like I told you, no light is passing through from mountain to the luma and hence you see nothing. If I go in between, then some light is passing and you have a kind of shading if you want or opacity. Fine, let's go to the S here. So this is a hue, saturation, and brightness. So you want, for example, the brightness to be high. Here you are. Now the brightness is going to 100% and all the light is passing through. Now if you come to less, you notice the brightness is going down and also the luminosity is going down and we are not going to see all the layer at 100%. So how do we work with this? We are not going to change the color of the Luma Matte layer all together, you know, plain color, because it doesn't make sense. We better put opacity. So we're gonna go to fill and give it a linear gradient. Here we are. And notice now everything has disappeared because our linear gradient is only black. Let's go and change our colors. Let's take this extreme color here and make it white. So we have white at 100%, black at 100%. Notice that where there is white, then the colors are 100% bright and they are showing. Where it's black, you have absolutely nothing. Cool. So now the Luma mat has linear gradient. This linear gradient is limited by the end. This is the end of the linear gradient. The blue dot on the right is the end of the linear gradient. And the one on the left is the beginning of the linear gradient. If you look at your gradient, the end is black and the beginning is white. Now, in this case, the linear gradient is only applied through this small portion. If I take the end of the linear gradient and take it to the right, expand it, then now the linear gradient is applied from this portion, it start to the end. I will take the start and move it to the right. And here you are, your linear gradient is applied to almost all the layer from the beginning to start. How do we know that? If you come to a rectangle and open the rectangle, you will notice here that you have gradient fill. We didn't have this option before, we only had fill. If you open the gradient fill, you will have a start point over here and end point. The start point is this point, you can see it moving on the screen now. And the end point is the last one and you can see it moving. So there is also a possibility to animate this thing using the stopwatch here. That's pretty cool. Before we start animating the start and end point, let's animate the text layer itself. Let's come to position and after, for example, two seconds, so we have time to see it. We keyframe the position 
and then we go to the beginning we hold our text layer we click on the anchor point and press shift and take it outside now notice also it is operating like an alpha mat where you can see only the text layer when it is inside the mat itself now let's take it outside let's say over here that will do and let's play our animation i want you to focus when the text is starting to appear if you press space bar you notice that the text will appear bright and change colors according to the linear gradient here you are let's do it slowly slowly you notice how it's happening so the linear gradient here is white 100 percent so the luminosity is 100 percent and the luma now will make sure that the colors are appearing at 100 percent now another good example if you like is to take the mountain and change the color to red for example and you notice now how it's happening with the luminosity so that is one beautiful animation that you can really work on notice how the colors are fading away if you work really on your linear gradient then you can make your text coming in and fading away and coming out pretty interesting if you go slowly people can read it cool this is one animation that we have done let's do another animation here i will remove the position keyframes and open here the luma i will animate the start point and end point of the fill layer i will come at two seconds here and keyframe the start point and the end point cool i will come to the beginning hold the end point and get it to the start point over here to be very precise and i like that take the value of the start point the x value of the start point in this case i press ctrl c to copy the value go to the end point press ctrl v to paste the value and now i want this to be zero we don't want any movement on the y-axis or vertically so by putting zero zero you will notice that the whole text has appeared if you press your spacebar now or run a preview the text will appear very nicely if you combine this with a movement for the text like position then you have a fantastic effect and this is how to use the luma if you want to use the luma inverted then it is not the trackman that's getting inverted it is the influence of the luminance is inverted when it's white it will become 100 percent non-luminous and no light will come and then you cannot see your text now in our case here we need to change really the values of these keyframes i will let you to do that and you play with it work with the luma mat and luma inverted mat i would like to point to you when you are using videos and you are using uh, images the luma is very very interesting to work with and will give you great effects and great animations thanks for listening i hope i explained it very well for you i know it's a difficult subject lots of students try to avoid using the luma please do not avoid to use it try to understand it and just a simple concept white will let all the light pass through black will let no light pass through and then in between you get some light passing through and you can play around with this concept thanks for listening i'll see you in the next lecture